Hi fellow trailblazers, just a short video to show you that um, I finally did it. I finished my grind and now I have it all. I'm not going to show you everything like clothes, that's uh, not where I spent money and I admit it, I don't have every single piece of clothing. Right now I'm most interested in uh, the leather because it, it looks cool I think. Um, and as you can see, I also have a fully upgraded camp. Uh, that's not the most expensive parts, clothes and camp. It's like, a, I don't know, three, four thousand dollars max. Um, here's a bigger money sink. At least for me it was, because I tried out a few different horses and it ended up costing me about a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars. And, um, yeah. You uh, you make mistakes. Let's just leave it at that. This is my preferred horse, the Black Arabian, um, which you, you have to buy with gold bars, of course. But uh, the good thing is, uh, yeah, sorry to jump in it, but uh, you also uh, have to get a good saddle. And uh, I prefer the Panther saddle or, or this one, the Rattlesnake saddle, because the stats are just way better than and the saddles that you can craft or build yourself but uh, mm, horses are a big expense and you you just want at least to have more than one horse so yeah, in this case I, I'm a crazy guy I, I need five horses because there's room for five horses and that's just the way it is but um, anyways back to how I made my money in this uh, online uh, edition of Red Dead Redemption. It, it's it's uh, mainly through hunting, and uh, not not hunting cougars or or, or birds and alligators. Uh, I just found a place very close to a butcher. In this case, uh, um, it was uh, near Strawberry, and uh, then you just have to go hunting all the time. You get to know the lay of the land, know where the animals spawn, and then just uh, remember one shot, one kill, and don't waste bullets on, on uh, poor and good animals. Only go after perfect. That way I made a ton of money. I also tried out a few glitches from other YouTubers, such as Jaystone. Big shout out Ain't to no you. Um, also Game Macquarie and Outlaw Gary, you are actually doing quite a good job. But uh, there's also a lot of YouTubers who should never post a video. Um, that being said, I also ended up running up and down the stairs in Braithwaite Manor, south of Rhodes, <laughs> quite a bit. And I know a lot of you people did as well, because I saw you, can't hide. But um, back to the video, right here you can see that I also bought all the guns. and I ended up upgrading only a few of them because I'm I don't really like spending too much money on a game. I I admit I I bought 25 gold bars that was this one time of I think it was five dollars uh, something like that. Anyways, it's only cosmetics, uh, uh, so it doesn't really matter. And uh, and you might want to upgrade other other guns. I I that's a personal subjective uh, thing anyways guns are also quite a money sink if you want them I the cheapest the cattlemen's are fifty dollars but then you you buy the mouser guns it's like six hundred dollars a piece or a thousand I can't remember um, but it's a lot of money for guns um, yeah but uh, when you have all the guns, you also want all the bullets, and that's where uh, all the recipes came in. Now, in the Ultimate Edition, you you uh, get uh, five recipes for free, the rest I had to buy, and that's a huge money sink, because they are like $500 a piece, something like that. Um, but you need them if you want to get all the different kinds of dynamite and fire bottles and what they call split point I think and explosive rounds and incendiary shots and uh, yeah all of it uh, it's not really expensive because you're just crafting bullets but um, um, yeah still it's a few hundred bucks uh, 
in an emulation as well. So, but the last thing and the really biggest part of the grind, it was actually the, in my opinion, most important part. And that's the, um, that's the uh, ability cards, which I'm going to show you in a few seconds. Uh, that's really what makes or breaks a character, in my opinion, anyways. Uh, you want to be able to handle different different kind of missions and jobs, and uh, the way to do this is uh, changing your abilities. Some are good for PvP, solo PvP, group PvP. Some are good for hunting. Yeah, whatever. Uh, you can figure it out yourself, but I chose not to compromise, so I kept grinding until every single one of them, and I'm sure I'm not going to use all of them, but uh, I better safe than sorry, so I ended up upgrading all dead eye and all ability cards to tier three. So we're getting close to the end of this video, and um, before it ends, I just want to say that now I can s finally start enjoying the game because I've literally not seen everything in here. I'm, I can't wait to explore it and uh, maybe finally joining a pussy because I have uh, I haven't joined them. If you're doing this, uh, the, uh, it, if you're playing the game the way I have been playing it to, to get it all, then it's not effective. I have no doubt that it will be a lot more fun, because if you're going to do this, guys, be warned, it's boring. I tell you that, it's, it's repetition, 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 and it's, and it's not uh, only half an hour per day. Uh, that's not going to cut it, uh, of course, depending on how fast you want it all. Um, anyways, that's about it, and um, be sure to have fun, I know I will, and uh, yeah, take care, bye bye.